Hello friends, welcome to Blockchain Inside Out. Today I will show you the next update on Sunflower Land. You can see that all the crops, all the seeds I have taken and which is not yet used, I have bought all those things. Okay, one thing I mistakenly done that is I bought few blueberry seeds though i don't have yet fruit land but i still bought those hopefully in future i can use those but today i will show how to withdraw from sfl from sfl from this land first i will go to helias then try to sell out those things what i have already in my kitchen well first let me show you how much i have this is the items i got from last week okay this is the items this is the cakes and this one pumpkin roast I told you that this is the best item and you can get 2500 XP from this roast and you can easily make it. This pumpkin roast, you can easily cook it in your kitchen. For that, you have to have 5 roast veggies and 20 mashed potatoes so it's very nominal amount of inventory you can use to get this 2500 xp thing well let go to helios and let's start selling those things here is the grab shop i'm start selling you can see that i have 120 sfl right now let's start selling one boiled egg pumpkin roast you can see 13.75 sfl i'll get now cauliflower burger pumpkin pumpkin soup mashed potatoes sunflower crunch another cauliflower burger this cauliflower burger i can cook but these things i cannot cook anyhow i cannot prepare because i don't have this detox actually these are given from delhi well right now i am going to goblin retreat and the bank I will use the bank here you can withdraw your sfl token oh one thing you have to keep in mind you can see it's showing 98 sfl but eventually i have more than that if you go to home you can see 145 sfl so best way best way to withdraw sfl when you have already sync it to the blockchain so right now i am not going to withdraw because i wish to withdraw at least 100 sfl what is the reason behind that i am showing you if you withdraw right now i have 98 if i press 90 then see 25 percent fees and if you click on read more then even you can see it here if i sell more than or if i withdraw more than 100 sfl the fee reduced to 20 percent so always try to 
withdraw more than 100 or at least 100. If you have 1000, then fees reduction to 15%. Though I don't have 1000 SFL and I am not sure that when it will be, I can accumulate 1000 SFL. So that's a long story. So I am not uh, going to do that. Hopefully in next few episodes, I can try to withdraw this SFL and I will show you definitely. Before withdrawing, you have to do two things. First, you will receive SFL to your wallet. This is my wallet. So if I click withdraw, then whatever the fees they will deduct and send the rest of the SFL to my MetaMask wallet. But first, before that, you just go to coin market cap open sunflower land and copy this address this is the smart contract address open your metamask then import token paste it here smart contract address it will automatically take sfl symbol and token decimal you have to do this before withdrawing any sfl because if you withdraw before doing this you will not be able to see it in your metamask eventually you will see it in your metamask because if you check the explorer the polygon explorer then police scan you can see it there but you may get frightened that where that those sfl has gone so before withdrawing any sfl you must do this step so whenever you withdraw SFL, it will directly be shown on your MetaMask wallet. So you don't have to worry at all that where are those SFL has gone. This is the strategy. And I already shown you that I have used all my crops. Right now, I will restock it. And next time, I will expand my land but when I will expand my land that that is a catch because I got five bucks and three bucks is still there so I will finish all the bucks then I will take this expand land expand option and after land expand when you expand your land you have to sync all the system in your blockchain and then only you can see as automatically it will be synced in your blockchain then while you will go to bank or goblin retreat you can see what is your sfl amount so don't sync or resync very very much because it will eventually take some polygon so i am not going to waste my polygon and you can see that Polygon is going higher day by day. So I will use my sync option wisely. That is one trick to save your polygon and get most out of it. Right now, I'm going to restock it and you can see all the block back. Uh, you are going to use one block back to restock all shops items in the game. Yes, restock. You can see all have been restocked. So I will first finish all those things and then I will chop all the trees. Then I will try to get as much as rocks. Even I will try to collect some gold after I ensure that I will I have enough items to expand my land then the rest of the items means rest of the rock iron and wood i will use to collect gold this is my strategy right so better i will get some pickaxe You can see 
still I have enough rock or enough stone so I can try to use this to mint a stone pickaxe and I got some stones uh, I got some iron and 13 iron here I got so I need 10 iron for my next expansion so I will always keep in mind that whatever X I have I will use it wisely and all the things will be stored accordingly so when my next two block back will be used then only I will use this option expand land and after that I will withdraw my hundred SFL from this game and definitely I will show you all the updates hope you are enjoying if you like this video don't forget to share it among your friends who are playing and who are trying to find out some strategy it will help them I guess thank you very much for watching cheers